Welcome to the Espresso Workouts Core Hip and Butt Finisher. I know this is a core workout, but I can't just have you great abs and have you walk away with a great six pack. I also want you to walk away with a great hip, butt, glute, legs, thighs, everything. So here we go. Starting in crab position, lifting all the way up in table position and lowering down. This is kind of the warm up, so take it easy on range of motion, uh, make breaks if you need to. You can also pause the video anytime. There's no proper mobility warm up stretching this time because we're kind of starting easy and then we're going for it. 20 minutes of butt thigh glute workout. Next one in side plank on your elbow. So this is a combined side up and side butt workout <laughs> exercise. So we're coming onto the elbow, fingers pointing forward towards your nose and then lift all the way into side plank. I would like you to hover this whole time. So you have your two feet, one on top of the other. This makes it a bit more difficult for your balance. And anytime we get challenged on our balance, our core muscles are working. So we're doing it all. Make sure to push the elbow away from the shoulder. So you're not contracting and squeezing into your cervicals. Keep breathing. Raise those hips. One second, perfect, just switch around. We're doing the other side straight away and later on we're gonna mix and match it a bit. So for now, come onto your left elbow, come with the shoulder above your elbow and then lower your forearm onto the ground and lift onto those feet. And if you want to make it harder, you can put your hand into your side, either on your waist or onto your hip. And if you do need to ease a bit, one option would be to grab your wrist with your hand, the upper hand grabbing the lower wrist, obviously. <laughs> or you can pull your arm alongside your ear, extend the whole upper side line. This will ease it a bit on your hips. Five more seconds, keep going, keep working. And if your shoulders need a rest, have some pause. Otherwise, 10 seconds to get into your plank. Find your plank, stand the plank on hands and feet, and here we go for the butt. We raise the knee all the way to the chest, then lift it up and come back with the knee to the chest, and then change. So I want you to focus this time on the extension back. So it's knee, extend, knee, back. Knee, extend, knee, back. And this extension is especially important. So squeeze those glutes, squeeze your butt as much as you can and lift this leg without lifting your hips. So the hips stay square and level. They don't lift above shoulder height. Just your feet lift as much as you can by squeezing your glutes. Fantastic. This is the hip and butt finisher, but also for the thighs. So we're working the whole lower body here. Come into squat position, knees turned out slightly towards your feet, double hip width apart, and then jump up and twist. Upper body stays forward and parallel while your hips are twisting one side and then the other. If jumping is too much and you need to keep it low impact, just come into your squat up and down. If you're not very sure about the twisting, but you can jump, just do squat jumps on the spot. So if it needs to protect your knees or ankles and you're not sure about the twisting, you don't need to do it. Just do your squat jumps. I just thought this is a nice twist to those squats. And I love adding a little bit of a surprise movement for the body every now and then. Side leg lifts coming up. We're standing on the left leg, lifting the right. So balance on one leg. And so here we're focusing on two things. One is the standing leg. Standing leg is active, working. Standing leg is bent. 
hips slightly pushed backwards so the knee stays behind your toes and we're having an active leg opening up to the side and staying hovering over the floor so we're focusing here on two things lower foot pressing into the floor active moving leg is pulling out to the side while the upper body stays firm and centered great one have 10 seconds of wibble wobble running on the spot stretch if you can quickly or pause the video otherwise let's go for it stay on your right leg foot and kneecap are pointing out slightly then bend the knee bend in the hips and lift the active leg to the sides so you know what to do with the lower body pressing the heel outer edge and big toe mount into the floor while the active leg is pulling out to the sides now for the upper body be aware of your shoulder girdle so pull your pinky fingers out of your elbows your elbows pull out of your shoulders like you want to reach something very far away to the sides elongate your neck shoulders come down collarbones are smiling and push the crown of your head up fantastic come back down on the floor i hope your wrists are relaxed so we're coming into crab position same as the first move but this time we're not lowering and lifting our hips but we're grabbing the opposite foot only so grab the opposite foot only and try not to lower your hips down i know it's kind of impossible to stay all the way up but do your best to extend your hips push your hips up at all times and if you can go a bit further grab your ankle grab your thigh whatever you can so we're basically crunching here in the air keep breathing let your breath flow hey so this one is really hard and 45 seconds is quite a lot so keep working and start in this up position and then you can slowly lower down if you need to on your elbow and on your knee so start in the advanced position with the hand underneath the shoulder foot underneath foot on the ground and then lift the upper leg so this is the advanced version with 25 seconds in so if you need to you can lower onto your elbow sphinx position and if your hip starts to sag and really burning and you're collapsing, you can come down onto the knee. So working your way through, it's like a drop set where you're lowering the weight or lowering the intensity, but you still keep going. That's the secret of endurance, strength and endurance. We're doing drop sets. So we're keeping the intensity up, but we're lowering the weights a bit. But since the muscle has already fatigued, it feels like the same weight. So start in the hand and your foot, lift the upper leg. We're 20 seconds in. And if it starts to burn too much right now, first lower in your elbow. This might already help to shift more weight to the upper body. And if that doesn't help anymore, then come down with the lower knee onto the floor, but keep lifting this upper leg. You should be easily doing that right now for three more seconds. And you're good to go into animal move. So we're working the core and we're working mobility, uh, functional workout here. So come into bear position, knees are hovering over the floor, 90 degrees and then do a really smooth turn into crab position, the one we've been doing twice right now. And if you have space, just keep rolling like a barrel. Open those shoulders, don't contract the chest too much here. Stay really flexible, open and mobile. And then change and turn to the other side, same thing. 
So once you get the move, try to be as fluid as possible. Two more seconds. Perfect. Some rest for your wrists. We're doing the back leg lift. This is focusing on the glutes. So we're isolating our glutes. Start leaning forward, stay on your right leg and then lift uh, on your left leg and then lift the right leg back. We're always starting with the right side working. So right side is working, lifting up and you're leaning forward as much as your balance allows it. So try to come with your upper body parallel to the floor while you keep your standing leg bent and the upper leg keeps lifting. If you want to reduce the range of motion, only do the upper part. This will increase the tension on your glutes. Only do the upper part and don't come all the way down. I bet you felt that. That's a great one. So here we go on the other side. This time we're staying on the right leg and we're lifting the leg left into back leg lifts. So lean forward. Spread your arms wide to the sides. That will help you with balance. Remember, whenever the arms are spread, we're pulling the arms out of the shoulder girdle to prevent the shoulder and the neck from contracting. So lift the left leg backwards. And we're 20 seconds in. So increase the intensity if you want to by bending the standing leg more further and only doing the upper bit of your leg lift. So only halfway down and then come all the way back up. Only halfway down, come all the way back up. There's quite a few things you can do. Same exercise, but different focus. Here we go again. Back leg lifts, this time alternating. Come into elbow plank and then alternate lifting your legs backwards. So it's the same movement for the legs. And if you want to challenge your glutes, your butt a bit more, have a little bit of a stop at the top. So you're lifting, stop, come down and change. Lifting, stop, come down and change. Lifting, stop, come down and change. Very good. So we're working the same muscle again, but this time we're also working our core. So make sure to pull the navel in, narrow the waistline, suck that belly in, Open your chest, so breathing into the chest, open your shoulders, making your collarbones, what? Smile, exactly. Now let's relax the spine a bit. So these roll backs and back up into lunge are also a back massage. So we're coming into sitting, then massage, roll back your back. Interlace those legs, cross them over, and then come up into lunge position. If you feel like it, you can try to come all the way up into a high lunge. That means come onto both of your feet and then squat all the way back down into sitting and roll back. So you can modify the exercise. When you're rolling backwards, cross over right and left, and then next time cross over left over right. So you're changing every time. So one leg comes front and the next time that front leg is back. Does that make sense? I hope. <laughs> All right. We come into another isolated butt exercise, down dog, split repeater. Come into your down dog, find your down dog position, mount of the index finger pressing into the floor and then lift the right leg all the way up. This is big range of motion coming from your hips. So try to keep your back stable. There's no arching and curling going on in the back here. The movement is coming from your hips. So real isolation of those glutes. And again, if you feel like upping the intensity a bit, you can stay in the upper half. Just do the upper half. Whatever feels more intense to you. <laughs> All right, stay right down there or have a seat for 10 seconds. So stay there, stay in your down dog. And then raise that left leg, rise up and expand. 
Now make space in the whole front of your body. That will allow you to extend those front flexors and tone all our extensors. So the back of our body is the extensor muscles. The front of our body are the contractors or flexors. And usually we're flexing too much. So this down dog split is a great way to opening the chest, opening these front chest upper body flexors and toning one of our biggest extensor, which is the glute and lower back. Perfect, let's do just one more, just one more to finish up with the hip and butt, which is the Pilates heel beats. So come down, lying on the floor, lie on your belly, cross over your hands, lay your forehead on your hands, then lift those thighs and beat your heels very quickly. I know this is intense, especially after all the butt workout that we did, but keep going for another 25 seconds. This is supposed to be hard. So beat those heels together, make sure to lift your thighs and go really quick. It's, it's beat, 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 beat. So it's really, really quick. As fast as you can go for eight more seconds. Go even faster. You can do this. Five, four, three, two, one. This was quite a relief. I know this one was hard. So let's have a bit of a stretch before I let you go. First, a glute stretch. Cross over your right leg, over your left knee, and just sit back first of all. Press the hips lower and backwards. Open the knee to the side until you feel it. A little bit of a pull in your right butt cheek. If your leg is so tired, then you can also do this figure four stretch lying on your back. Still crossing the right knee over the left and grabbing your left thigh, pulling the thigh towards you. So this is just to have a little bit of an active stretch, but if you need to lie down, of course you can do that. Then let go, extend a bit, breathe, deep breath in and out, and then change sides. We cross the left leg over the right. So if you're standing, sit back and lower the hips. And if you're lying down, you still cross the left over the right knee, but then you're pulling the thigh towards you while your head and shoulders stay on the ground. If you feel like being more active, you can extend the arms upwards, lowering your shoulders, pulling the pinky finger up and out and keep breathing. This is a well-deserved stretch. That was 20 minutes of real butt and glute finisher challenger. But we also did a lot of core. Lots of core work here. So last stretch for the quads and then you can keep stretching or shower, <laughs> whatever you need to do. So grab your right ankle, come parallel with your thighs, knee against knee, find your extension in the front side, in the front body. You're gonna open that shoulder and let your gaze wander around, let your breath come down. Make sure your knees are parallel, close together. Now, if you still got it in you, contract your glutes a bit, pushing that hip forward, increasing the stretch on your quadriceps. If you still have some juice in there. And then slowly release, shake the leg out. Shake those arms out if you need to, and then grab your left ankle. First, close those legs, get a steady stance. One more balance, but no movement. And then open your chest, open the shoulder, lift your chin, lift your gaze, let your eyes wander. And then press those hips forward. Thighs stay parallel, knees are close together. Oh my God, you did this. 
You're wonderful. That was really tough, I know, especially those side planks. So congratulations, you're a finisher. And you might feel this tomorrow. <laughs> so be nice to your body and I'll see you next time. <laughs>